Hello and good morning students, I am Shudipta and today I will explain the second chapter from your English book New Images of Class 7 and it is a poem, the name of the poem is On the Grasshopper and Cricket It is written by John Kitts So stay tuned with me and have the video, thank you So now let's have a short introduction about John Keats. John Keats is famously known for his romanticism. He was born on 31st October in 1795 in Murgate, London. The oldest of four children, he lost both his parents at a young age. He took education from Enfield School and later King's College in between. He got poet Leigh Hunt and P.B. Shelley as friend. After that, he decided to take up writing as profession, but he contributed only six precious years from his life in writing, that is from 1814 to 1819. And on 23rd February 1821, the poet of Romanticism, the poet of beauty, John Keats, passed away. Keats composed this poem on 30th December in 1816. There was a story behind the composition of this poem. Once, Keats' friends Lay Hunt challenged him to write a poem on grasshopper and cricket. Keats accepted his challenge and wrote such a beautiful poem. When Keats showed it to Lehant, he said, Such a prosperous opening. So, it is a short introduction about John Keats. He was the main pillar of Romanticism and he was the huge opening of the second generation poets. So hello and good morning students. Now I will discuss this new poem. The name of the poem is On the Grasshopper and Cricket. It is written by John Keats. So I have already told you an uh, introduction about John Keats. So now Let's start from here. The poetry of earth is never dead. The poetry of earth, here poetry of earth means the rhythm of earth, the smell, the taste, the sight and the music of earth or the life force which will not be ended anymore. So it is the proclamation the very first line and John Keats, the poet is very optimistic. It is the shine of optimism. Okay. When all the birds are faint with the hot sun and hide in cooling trees. Means in the summer due to the heat, the birds are being weak thirsty and tired so they are not able to sing their song and to avoid the scorching sun they are taking shelter under the branches of the trees a voice will run from hedge to hedge about the new moon mint so your hedge means a border which is created by little trees or little plants. It is used, it, it is uh, normally used to separate the um, corn pills from each other. And moan means field and meadow means, uh, mead means meadow or orchard. So what is the meaning of this? Here, the poet is very hopeful. Here, the poet is very hopeful. Why? 
that the music of our nature will not be stopped. The music, the life force, the rhythm of our nature, of our life will not be stopped. Because in the summer, he is still hearing a voice which is not only a voice, it is the music of earth, it is the sound of nature and it is the vibration of our existence. So whose voice is telling about? Whose voice? That is the grasshoppers, the voice or the tune or the song or the music is coming from a grasshopper. He takes the lid in summer luxury. He has never done with his delights. Means here the sound of grasshopper, the sound of grasshopper means the music of grasshopper. In the summer when all the creatures are thirsty and feeling weak, then the grasshopper is shown the embodiment of life rhythm. He is expressing his life force through this song. He is expressing his life rhythm or life force. Okay? And he is taking the position. He takes the lead, means the lead singer. He is taking the position as the lead singer because the birds are not able to sing the song. So the grasshopper is taking the position of the lead singer in summer luxury. Means it means that summer is a time of luxury to them. In summer, they are very happy to sing this song. He always try to keep his happiness and enjoyment. He has never done with his delight. Means he is always happy to keep it. For when tired out with fun, he rests at ease beneath some plant weed. Here the grasshopper doesn't want to take rest in course of fun. If it is needed, he takes rest under some plants or leaves. Okay? Then, the poetry of art is ceasing never. Again, the poet John Cates is reminding his reader in the same way that the rhythm of life, the rhythm of nature, the life force, the tune, the harmony, the smell, the color, the music or the tune of nature will not be ended. There must be a compliment. Why? Because here the birds are faint. But it doesn't mean that the rhythm or the sound of nature will be stopped. In the place of bird, a grasshopper will sing their song to revive the nature again. So that's why the poet is proclaiming again and saying, that proclaiming again that the poetry of art is ceasing never. So he is telling here must be a compliment who will come to fulfill the emptiness of life and its nature. Okay. The next. On a lone winter evening when the frost, frost means storm with ice, okay? It is England, so it happens frequently in England, storm with ice. On a lone winter evening when the 
no when the frost has wrought a silence rot means to create rot means to bring rot means to ornament okay so create the silence when the frost means here the frost is symbolizing the death the symbolizing silence symbolizing a cold thing it seems the world is stopped it seems there is no life there is no heartbeat in our nature in our world okay so what does it mean this here the poet is taking an instances an instance from a lonely winter evening where the frost is covering silence all around our earth it seems the earth is stopped and our heart beat is also stopped then from the stove there shrills the secret sorry crickets song in warmth increasing ever and seems to one is drowsiness half lost the grasshoppers among some grassy hills so when it seems that frost is covering death frost is covering silence everywhere in that particular time the poet is also hearing and sound and rhythm from where from a little corner of a fireplace a cricket is singing a song the cricket is singing a song a joyful song of our life as it increasing the heat and the heat symbolizes our life force okay here it is symbolizes the life force and i have already told you frost or ice or something which is cold it is symbolizes with death so the frost is just like death and who you are feeling the heat of our life so here here the fire stove means here it is a symbol of our life heat means it is life force okay and we are dreaming what is we are dreaming we are dreaming the grasshopper is singing singing its song somewhere in grassy hills so it is also the poem is itself an embodiment of optimistic note okay as we know that john keats is a romantic poet he loved our nature very much he loved life the life force very much so in this poem his pessimistic ideas his pessimistic uh, his optimistic ideas is reflecting from each and every line he is not pessimistic at all okay so students i think this video will help you a lot so stay tuned with me and wait for me for the next video so have a good day thank you